Well, I got into music because I used to dance like all my life since I was, I wanted to say five or six. Um, and then the one day I was just messing around writing a song because, you know, I used to like Chris Brown and Aaliyah and all them. And I was like, hey, maybe I could write a song. I wrote a song and it actually was hot as what we call it. Nice. Um, people liked it. And then after that, I just went in the studio and did a demo. And from there, I never stopped. I got interested in music in 2009. That was when I first wrote my first song called peekaboo and it was for the kids um i think what's driving my interest in the music is the talent that people said that i have um the feedback i get from people the reactions i get from people and also just the fun i love being in the studio writing songs and recording i knew i wanted to do music as a career the first time i well the first time i joined a group which was the underlords and the first time i hit the stage because it was phenomenal like people love the music they love my performance when i first started performing i, I used to wear mask um as a symbol now i wear bando bando is my alter ego um people say he's scary but that's the dark side of me um, I make hip hop, R&B music, but recently in the last like year, I've been doing some pop songs, you know, international type of music, really. I write my own music all the time. Um, people ask me all the time to ghost write for me. I say no, because to me, it's not original and it's not me if I didn't write it. I got my inspiration from a couple things. One, I knew it was an experiment and then I realized, hey, I'm actually really good at this. So that was an inspiration. Um, the people, like the fans and the supporters, definitely an inspiration to keep going because if they love it, I mean, why would in the world? Uh, another inspiration would have been the music artists in Pittsburgh as well. A lot of them do music. Um, like my boyfriend, he's a music producer. But before I even met him, there was people like him. Like my cousin Mysterious, he's a music producer. So I was like, hey, I want to do this. I can do this. So that's what really made me keep going and go. Being a female artist in the male industry is like pulling wisdom teeth out yourself. Um, number one, as a female, you don't really get respect from the males. You have to uh, demand it, basically. I am a sweet person. I'm a Scorpio. That's my zodiac. I don't play when it comes to certain things. Um, you just have to learn when to speak up and when not to speak up, when to ignore things, when not to ignore things. But as a female, it's very hard in the game. Uh, like I said, if you have to be tough, believe it or not. You have to... You have to be like that male and female at the same time. And because I run my own business, have my own label, have my own studio, run my own short film business, do a lot of things, do my own videos, I have to be that boss. I feel like there's not a lot of female rap artists because number one, like I said, you have to be tough. And some females portray yourself to be tough, but they're not as tough as they think they are. Like there's a lot of females who are more emotional, but they may have all the talent in the world, but you can't be emotional in a game like this because if you do, they'll chew you up. I look at it like you're in a ring full of dogs. You're a little chihuahua versus pit bulls. I mean, what are you going to do? Just crawl all down, crawl down, or are you going to boss up? And that's the thing with being in a rap game. You got to boss up. Role models. Okay. Well, role models, this is going to sound weird. My mom's my role model, number one, because she doesn't do music, but... The way she carried herself, the way since I was born and my brother was born, the way she handled things, she put us first, she handled business the way she had to, and also she speaks up when she has to. She don't let nobody step on her or step over her or anything. Um, so I definitely get a lot of that from her. Another role model, we want to talk about music, I would say, hmm, I would say Trina. I love Trina. Trina is my idol, actually. I definitely feel like I am put under more pressure as a female because males automatically think ha, her she can't rap she can't do this she's ha, we got this and also the what we call nowadays hate which is a uh, negative comments in most instances um you get that a lot you have to learn to ignore that stuff so yeah i definitely think it's a lot more pressure as a female than it is for a male i have a big obstacle when i first started which was me when you rap you don't want to only just say words like if I write a piece of paper and I'm like you know like you're reading a class or something you got to actually wrap it you have to fill it and my biggest challenge as an artist when I first started was finding my character as an artist if you don't find your character it's easy for anybody else to realize that um so that was a challenge another challenge was getting over my shyness I'm not a freestyler because I write my music so when I'm out in public and people are like you rap I'm like yeah they're like hey spit something I'm like huh I don't spit I don't I write my music but as an artist you know I should really um learn to freestyle but I still struggle with that a little bit but um I'll spit my verse they be like oh she's horrible let me buy your CD so I'll be like right 
sacrifice was time. Um, because I am a full-time college student and I'm also a part-time worker of making, like I work like 26, 27 hours a week. On top of doing music, sacrifices came with, oh, do this show or do this for him. So because I have a son, I had to do a lot of sacrifices basically. My support group is my son, of course. He's only two right now. Um, I have a friend named Flannery. She's very supportive. She used to do my photography. My mom, for sure, she's like number one in the support system. My boyfriend, Nels D, he's my music producer, also my boo-boos. Um, <laughs> my brother, because without my brother, I would not have been able to get through this college stuff by myself. He helped me so much because he's been through it already. Um, and honestly, just all my supporters too are motivation, motivations to me because to keep going. I see myself in five years owning my own business so far as like a studio, having my own real business building of like a film company. Um, I also see myself as an international star touring. So hopefully that comes true.